the group break post. This is just a quick box recap post. Um, it is uh, 11.20 at night my time on Monday the 9th. Um, this particular post will go live on my blog if all goes well uh, Friday the 13th. So um, I'm a little bit ahead, which is good. Uh, earlier this afternoon, I busted boxes 6 and 7. No, sorry, 7 and 8 out of the Topps Heritage case. So I have two of these videos that I hope to get done in the near future, and then I still have four more boxes to open up Heritage plus the Clubhouse Collection. So without wasting any more time, I want to just show off some of the hits and inserts and whatnot that we got uh, from box seven. And we start off with the buyback in this particular box uh, of Sandy Valdespino for the Twins. So we start off with that one. And then from there... Uh, we had our short prints, and normally uh, a box has eight short prints. This box, uh, unlike all the others I've opened, actually had ten. There were two packs, if you watch the video, um, that had two short prints in them, um, which was an, kind of an interesting development. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was an error on Top's part, but hey, if you're going to get extra cards, you might as well get extra short prints. So, uh, just going through them quickly, I know I did show all these off once, but this is the abbreviated view of the box break. We have Hanley Ramirez for the Red Sox, David Price for the Tigers, Adam Wainwright Cardinals, Zach Greinke Dodgers, Corey Kluber Indians, Carlos Santana Indians, Justin Upton for the Braves, Robinson Cano for the Mariners, Doug Fister for the Nationals, and the 10th and final short print in this box, Sonny Gray for the Athletics. So that was a fun development that was sort of unexpected. The inserts, uh, we got basically what you would expect. Our two news flashbacks, we've seen both of these a number of times now, Star Trek and Dear Gandhi. Uh, I feel like these always come in the same box. If you get one, you're going to get the other one. At least that's how this case has been for us. Then we have our Topps baseball flashbacks. Uh, at the top, Sandy Koufax for the Dodgers. At the bottom, Lou Brock for the Cardinals. I am pretty positive we've had both of those as well, which is not surprising. We had three New Age performers. Jacob deGrom for the Mets. Jose Abreu for the White Sox, which I'm pretty sure Jedi Jeff won't mind having again. And finally, Felix Hernandez for the Mariners. Then we had two then and nows in this particular uh, box. They were both... Uh, which I didn't realize until this very moment, the same card. Yep, we ended up with duplicates of the exact same then and now. This is number one. It's Kilbrew and Cruz, Twins and Orioles. The only good thing about this is I can say for sure that the Twins get one and for sure the Orioles get one. Um, I didn't actually realize that they were the same card when I opened the box because I've seen so many of these, it's hard to keep track. Um, so that's a bit of a bummer, I guess. But on the other hand, I'm pretty sure we're going to get all the then and nows before the case is actually done so probably not a huge deal moving on to the other box type prizes that you could get we pulled one chrome card ian kinsler for the tigers this is numbered uh 940 out of 999 it's hard to read the numbers then we had one chrome refractor shiny uh this is numbered uh, 028 out of 566, so number 28. Finally, the last three cards of note we had our hit was a relic in this box. Hanley Ramirez for the Dodgers. The Dodgers did quite well in this box, as you can tell. And we had an action variation. This was a Mike Trout action variation, one per box for those. And we had a gum card. This was for the Orioles, J.J. Hardy, and you can hopefully, maybe, make out the gum stain on the back. Got to see it up there a little bit. Um, and that was box number seven. So I would say it was an interesting box in that we got a lot of short prints, uh, two extras, which is substantial, 25% more than what we were supposed to get. Um, we've got another gum card. Uh... A little disappointing to get the same then and now, only two of them and they were duplicates, but 
like I said, when you open a case, you're going to have duplicates anyway. So it doesn't really matter what box you get the duplicates in. Um, you're going to get them. Um, but that said, if I were someone that was buying a single box of Heritage, I would be really bummed if I ended up with two of the exact same insert. Um, on the other hand, getting the two extra short prints would have made up for it. So I probably wouldn't have complained at all. But uh, still, these are the things you notice when you bust the boxes. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll hopefully get this up on the blog. Like I said, it, probably if you're watching it from the blog, it must be Friday. Uh, but then uh, I'll keep going and still working hard to get these cards out of here by the end of the week. So thanks for watching, and that's it for now.